place where you can you can go and maybe have some entertainment and get some racing history and air conditioning. Indiana is slowly opening back up. That means attractions are starting to welcome back visitors. One of those places is the IMS Museum, which reopens to the public now. And joining us live is the museum's director of communications, Eric Powell. Eric, congratulations. You know, we got some races in at the track over the weekend. That was awesome to see. I think people are you know, chomping it a bit to get back out and do something fun. So tell us how things are going uh, with the tours back on at the museum. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on today, guys. I really appreciate this. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, my first day back in the office here uh, to uh, just talk about what's going on with the museum. There was great racing this weekend, like you said, and we just opened at 9 o'clock today uh, for the first time since March, and uh, we already have a few visitors in the museum. And, you know, we're prepared. We have uh, everyone has to get screened when they come in. We are requiring masks. So, again, if you can remember to bring your own mask, we would really appreciate that. Um, and, our, you know, our staff's ready to go. We have plexiglass up uh, to, uh, you know, minimize spread of germs. Uh, everything that the CDC recommends, State Department of Health. So it's it's, it's good to be open. That's, that's the most important thing. Yeah, that is the bottom line here. You know, we've got so many, uh, you know, racing buffs in the racing capital of the world. Let's back up for a minute. When you talked about the, uh, the, the health screening that happens for folks here, hopefully they know to bring their mask. You probably have some yeah. for visitors who are without. But what happens in the uh, health screening? Are you doing a temperature check? We are. It's, it's very simple. I, I had to actually all the employees have to undergo it every day when you walk into work as well. And it's simple. We just walk in. We have a uh, we have a camera that, that you know, that, that checks your health, uh, you know, one of those little point and shoot things. And uh, you walk in the door, they, they, get, they shoot you uh, to see if you have a temperature or not. And I got my fancy little pink button right here that says I'm clear. And, you know, we'll all have that every time we walk in. And uh, it's very easy. So it basically, you know, in terms of walking in, people are going to go to the same location, same kiosk, same desk. Uh, it's just no matter if you have to stop for five seconds, get your get your temperature checked, and then move on. Uh, admission, everything's the same as it always is. And then, you know, the museum's open. Our, our exhibit from the vault, presented by Bank of America's, is open with some new cars. Um, it's going to get a complete makeover come the end of September. Um, so another reason to come in. And then we have a new exhibit opening about Andy Granatelli here pretty soon as well. And so now you get a nice uh, kind of pink souvenir button there. Tell me what you're uh, most excited about um, as people come back and look at uh, some of the historic uh, race cars. And is there something um, that you have done in the interim there to, to get folks uh, ready and excited about visiting? You know, for the most part, I, you know, from the vault, it's going to look very similar to what it was before spring, uh, before we closed in the spring, I, su I should say. But um, you know, there, there's, uh, there's a few new cars that we have right in the center aisle of, of the atrium, which is the main area of the museum when you walk in. We have uh, a Sam Hornish Indy car, an Allen's or Indy car, a couple of really cool old gems uh, like a Fiat and a Bentley uh, race car that are, uh, that are now on display. And then, like I said, the uh, you know, front of the vault will undergo a really huge transformation uh, here at the end of September. And then the Andy Granite Granitelli exhibit is going to be really cool. It opens August 1st. Um, so not too far away. And, uh, you know, Andy was one of those guys, he, he painted racing with the STP colors. You know, everybody knows what STP oil treatment is just because of Andy Granatelli and his promotions. And he had, you know, he brought the turbine, uh, in 1967 that almost won the 500. Um, just a great story, just a very colorful flamboyant man who really did a lot for racing to promote it back in the sixties and seventies. So we're going to tell his story coming up here. So, you know, if, People have been, I would say, if people have not been to the museum since before we closed, mm -hmm. you know, from the vault's going to be completely different here soon. And then Andy Granatelli is going to give you another reason to come in. Long so, time uh, race fans or not, it is yeah. a cool place to visit. And uh, we're glad that you're back open. And uh, we wish you guys well. Thanks for the time and take care of yourselves. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Appreciate right, you it. Too. Box59.com if you want to get more information about uh, prices, hours, all that good stuff, anytime you want. All right, it's